Reproduction in plants. Hey Dodo. Hey Jia. Dodo, what a lovely day. Yeah, Jia, let's go and walk. Yeah. Uh, Jia, you remember? You want to tell me about reproduction of plants? Oh, I'm sorry, Dodo, I forgot. It's okay, Jia. You can tell me now while walking. Oh, yes, Dodo, sure, let's start. Parts of a flower. Anther. Anther produces pollen. Filament. Filament support for anther. Petal. The petals are the most colorful and attractive part of a flower. Sipple. Sipple protects flower before it is opened. Pedicle. A stem supports a single flower and transports food and water. Ovary. Ovary is the part of the pistil that holds the eggs awaiting for fertilization. Stigma. Stigma is a sticky bulb that catches pollen grains. Pollination and fruit formation. Pollination is the process through which pollen grains from the anthers are transferred to the ovary of a flower. These pollen grains reach the ovary through the stigma of the flower. There are different ways through which pollination occurs such as through wind pollination, insect pollination and water pollination. After the pollination, the flower matures to form a fruit. Fruits contain seeds. A fruit may contain one, few or many seeds such as mangoes and avocados are the fruits with one seed. Kiwi and lemon are the fruits with few seeds. Papaya is the fruit with many seeds. Structure of a seed the outermost layer of the seed is called a seed coat. It is a thin covering which protects the seed from drying. The seed coat has tiny holes through which water enters the seeds. Inside the seed, there are two cotyledons or seed leaves that store food for the baby plant or embryo growing inside. When the seed gets the right amount of air, water and warmth, it starts growing into a small plant called the seedling. The baby plant is also called embryo. It is present between the seed leaves. They grow into a new plant after germination. Germination Water enters the seed through the hole in the seed coat which breaks open. The seed gets right amount of air, water and warmth. The root of the new plant emerges, the shoot of the baby plant starts growing. Once the food stored in the seed leaves finishes, the leaves start making food through the process of photosynthesis. The new plant keeps growing as long as it gets air, water, light and fertile soil. Disposal of seeds The process by which seeds are scattered away from the mother plant is called dispersal. Some fruits burst open when ripe to scatter their seeds. There are many ways by which seeds get dispersed. Dispersed of seed by wind. Dispersed of seed by birds and animals. Dispersed of seed by explosion. And dispersed of seeds by water. Let's recall. A flower is the reproductive part of a plant which turn into fruit. The anther and pollen grains form the male parts of a flower. The stigma and the ovary form the female parts of a flower. Pollination is the process through which the pollen grains form the anther and are transferred to the ovary of the flower. A food may contain one, few or many seeds inside it. A seed contains a baby plant inside it. 
once the seed gets the right amount of air, warmth and water, it starts growing into a new plant. The process by which a seed grows into a new plant is called germination. Seeds need to be sent to places far away from the plant. This process is called seed dispersal. Thank you.